Hi, preschool. Good afternoon. I have with me a very old book of poetry. And we said that April, which we are in the month that we're in, is National Poetry Month. And poetry is really interesting because it expresses ideas and thoughts and feelings, but it's not um, entirely the same as written stories or prose, we call them, um, because they don't have to go by the same rules about periods and commas and exclamation points. And it can even look a little bit different. It sounds different poetry and it looks a little bit different. So this is a book that is from 1974, the year before I was born. So it's really, really old. And it is by Shel Silverstein. And he's a very famous poet, especially for children's poetry. So I used my post-its and I put it in to save some pages that I wanted to share with you. This book starts with a poem called Invitation. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you're a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. So I thought I'd start with that one. This one's called Rain. I opened my eyes and I looked up at the rain and it dripped in my head and flowed into my brain. And all that I hear as I lie in my bed is the slishity slosh of the rain in my head. I step very softly. I walk very slow. I can't do a handstand. I might overflow. So pardon the wild, crazy thing I just said. I'm just not the same since there's rain in my head. That's so silly. Sometimes poems are very silly. This next one is called boa constrictor. A boa constrictor is a kind of a snake. And look at the illustration on the bottom of this poem, also by Shel Silverstein. Boa constrictor. Oh, I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor. A boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor and I don't like it one bit. Well, what do you know? It's nibbling my toe. Oh gee, it's up to my knee. Oh my, it's up to my thigh. Oh fiddle, it's up to my middle. Oh, heck, it's up to my neck. Oh, dread, it's so... What do you think that was going to rhyme with? Oh, dread, it's up to my head. But he can't say it because his head is inside the mouth of the boa constrictor. Silly. And let's do one more for today. 18 flavors. 18 luscious, scrumptious flavors, chocolate, lime, and cherry, coffee, pumpkin, fudge, banana, caramel, cream, and boysenberry, rocky road and toasted almond, butterscotch, vanilla dip, butter brickle, apple ripple, coconut and mocha chip, brandy peach and lemon custard, each scoop lovely, smooth and round. Tallest ice cream cone in town, lying there, sniff on the ground. 18 flavors of ice cream. And at the end, when he says lying there, sniff on the ground, it's because the ice cream did what? It fell. So that is just a sampling from Shel Silverstein's poetry. And I will read more another day. So happy Poetry Month.